once you see and experience direct manipulation interface, you're going to have to love it. You can manipulate the object by rotation, simply by dragging on a corresponding control widget, and that widget is oriented in space, and it has a shape, so it shows you ahead of the time what the tool will do. Um, even the control elements for uh, operating the work, the perspective space, are in, on a 3D panel. Uh, for everything, is two-dimensional equivalent, but a three dimension, in three-dimensional, you can simply drag and change the resolution of the, of the grid or its appearance from, the, from, the, from wireframe or solid or te textured. And it, it is intuitive and it's a lot of fun. It has many additional benefits, as we will see through this demo. Lights appear in true space also as a solid models and you can just drag and grab on the light. In the case of global light, all you can do is change the direction of it. But there are other lights such as spotlights which we can bring on the, in the workspace and there were spotlights, it's a little small here, but we can move it around by dragging on the white area and we can rotate it by blue area and immediately see in real time the impact of that. The navigation widget is very powerful. The yellow sphere can be used to access any part of the object directly, even if the object is comprised of many parts. And then the navigation widget can allow you to manipulate it within its own local space appropriately. The, the uh, hand will be, will, be, will be oriented by the joints it is connected to. Or we can select directly head and apply the tool such as you know, organic deformation tool to make the character's nose a little bigger. And immediately we see that we notice that there is no panels or dialog boxes or numerical entries. It is much easier and much more artistically oriented now that we can access the objects directly. The tools are simply in the same space as the, your work itself. Um, if we draw a primitive, this, this one is a magic ring control, again, we can change primitive pretty much from one into any other one, uh, warp them from, from, from one shape to another simply by controlling the control surfaces on this magic ring widget. And uh, different, different colored surface, you know, yellow one is indicating the how rounded the shape is a green one will allow you to to make it taller or, or more, more or less slanted. Again, it is it is it is very nice, and immediately you can see what you're doing. You can also drag a widget uh, for navigation, and pretty much like a handles on a baggage, you can copy that and glue it to another part of the surface. And if you want to rotate this object which we just created, nothing could be more intuitive than this direct manipulation handle. Even if you decide to right click on the object to do actual modeling changes on this shape, which is the, the preferred context-based form of editing, you still can use the handles. You can see at the bottom there is a content sensitive toolbar, which is also very, very powerful and very important. But we can directly in 3D, we can manipulate the polygon, we can pop up all the sweep tools, uh, manipulate this particular control is in wireframe, but it is a three dimensional control element. And we can activate the late, which will allow you to create circle like sweep and you can manipulate that with a, with a great degree of insight and not only it is precise but it's also a lot of fun.